Oh, this is fun. Check out the, um, the language here. So, yeah, that's, um, that's great. The NES Classic Edition. Maybe one of the best holiday gifts of the year, if you can find one. So these things are super popular and super hard to find. Um, if you want to find one before Christmas, well, good luck. And if you do, make sure to pick up a couple, because you can definitely sell this for a lot of money. The box, you can see, is a classic Nintendo NES controller. It literally says the word classic. Advertised on the front of the box, you can see um, classic games like Super Mario, Metroid, Pac-Man, Zelda, Donkey Kong, and Kirby's Adventures. It comes pre-installed with 30 games. The side of the box, you get a little description and that NES classic controller. And then on the back, you can see all these games ranging from Mega Man to Super Mario to Ninja to Final Fantasy and all of the good ones like Pac-Man. Really, really cool games. And then on the side again is your little info. Let's get this thing open. So, as soon as you get it out of the box, you got this little pamphlet. And oh my god, Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt has to be one of the most popular games. And we really do wish that it could be on the NES Classic. But I guess they couldn't do everything. And the gun would have been kind of hard to conclude with a controller. And it would have been a mess. But um, yeah, I'm really going to miss Duck Hunt. You also get a My Nintendo code to redeem some stuff. And oh my god, there is the classic Duck Hunt. You can see the Duck Hunt gun, the controller, and oh man, now playing with power since 1985. What a great game. Look at this guys, Duck Hunt, man. Really wish this could be on the NES. So, in the box, you have your power connector as well as the power brick to power this thing up. You have your standard NES Classic controller that has a way too tiny table, the cable. The cable on this thing is ridiculously short, so you may want to grab an extender to kind of give you some extra length on that cable while you're at it, and your included HDMI. Table. Getting a better look at the controller, you have your D-pad right here, your select button, your start button, and then two simple buttons, a A and a B button. And then your standard connection that will plug in to the um, Nintendo console. Wow, not a wireless controller, kind of a rare thing to see now in 2016. Wow guys, when they say mini, it really is so miniature. You have your classic Nintendo entertainment system logo right here. This would be where you would pop in the bay drives, but I mean it's still shut because it's just for show. You have your power button right here and your reset button right there. This is where you plug in the two controllers. You can add another one for ten dollars. And oh my god, literally this is the size of my hand just for comparison. So tiny. Your HDMI port and then your power port right here. Here's the side and wow. So, yeah guys, that's basically in a nutshell the Nintendo NES system. This really is so miniature. Um, it's very real to the actual NES system. I mean, it's a slightly different color, a lot smaller, and these are a little bit different and you couldn't save the games, but they also didn't come pre-installed. You get the idea. This thing is a must-have if you love classic games or maybe you have a child or grandchild now that um, you want them to play the classic games like you grew up with. Really cool, definitely recommend for 60 bucks and that extra 10 if you want to get this your second controller. Just to emphasize how short that cable really is, um, yeah that's about 2 feet. and. Uh, Here's the NES Classic, yeah, look at all those games. Ooh, which one should I do first? Oh, this is fun. Check out the, um, the language here. So, yeah, that's, um, that's great. Okay, and now that everything is in English, let's try this again. So, for the display, you have a couple different options. I think I like the CRT filter, which gives you the lines to the screen. And then you have the 4 to 3 aspect ratio, and then perfect pixel. But um, I think I'm going to try the lines to the screen just to see 
how that kind of looks. Yeah. And wow, guys, just look at all these different games. Jeez. Definitely have to start with Pac-Man. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.